In this video I would like to explain something more about the, the cache list within GAP. It's a very important uh, component within GAP. A visual view of the, the caches in the system and the, the selected ones. Uh, you see a bunch of columns that uh, contains properties of the geocache, like the geocache code, the name of the geocache, the owner. And over here you see the same as the column text shows like code, name and owner. If you're not interested in, in the name or the owner, you can just hide it. Let's say if I don't want the geocache code, you click on the code and the column is gone. And it will be saved anyway. So everything what you do when you load the other time, uh, the next time, it will still be hidden. So you can add and hide. So you see there are a lot of columns. Um, also, all properties is a, are available. Um, and but you see that the, there's here a different order. That's because I shifted the columns. You can also move it. So let's say you want the distance first before locked. You can just move it. So and it will also be saved. Then maybe these need to be explained a bit more. This is the selected and the flagged properties. The selected is like what you do if you want to select all, press this one, Either all are selected, so there's a check mark, you can also unselect or select manually, and just select them all. Now let's say if, if you have maybe sorted on distance, and you say, well, I want this cache selected. You hold down the shift key. That's okay. Just a window standard. So now you can select these by pressing this button. This button will do it. This will invert the selection. This one. So this will invert it. So if I select. Now you will see it's not automatically sorting again. Why I've done that I will show you. It will lose the sort. Uh, maybe you have to do that first to explain why. If there's a lot of geocaches, uh, well maybe it's not a lot yet, but 62,000. To increase the performance, it's the easiest way to set automatic sorting off. You find settings of the cache list, and then do it again with slow plugins, settings, and you have the job in the cache list over here. Now, you have colors for different status of the, the geocache, if it's archived, it's red, you see over here, red, uh, not available, grey, uh, available, uh, just white, and, and if you found it, green, no. if you want to change this, press this, and you see, it's a dark. And there's a use deferred scrolling, I will explain that later and enable automatic sorting, I will just enable it for now press apply so what it will do now is it will keep the sort as you had it, so like this, if I make a selection it will select it and sort it and if you have a lot of geocaches in the database uh, it will take maybe one or two seconds or three seconds to sort it. I guess in this case it, it, it is about one to two seconds. 
So just to improve the performance you can set this off. Now I've turned this on, so if I if I deselect everything again. So still it will keep the sorting. So now I can demonstrate the this button better, and yeah, that's why I did it. So now, see, select it, and turn this off. Now if I select the, the same two pieces and I press the S, it will invert, so it will select these two and unselect the others. Mm -hmm. So it will invert the selection. So there's also filter. If you say, well, I want let's say geocache from Germany and you press enter or this button pressing enter this button is the same so now country Germany it will also take from the name the owner uh, the code and also add the geocache code um, so for, for multiple fields it will take this uh, text so if you say uh, like a motor there are motor caches. Yes, see motor motorcycle. And if you want to clear it, with space press enter, and you have everything again. So that's the selected filter, and there's also a show selected only. I already did that, so let's try it again. So. And say show selected only, then it will only show the selected GPS. So get a better overview of what is selected. And if you don't use this panel but you want to search through the list, you can just hide the panel with more rows. And there was one thing in the setting that was deferred scrolling. Well, deferred scrolling is like if, if now it's off deferred scrolling, and if you see how it scrolls now, I hold down the mouse and I scroll down. It scroll, let's say live, live scrolling. It, the view is updated, and I release the mouse. So if but if you have a slow system. Uh, or a very large list, maybe 300,000 or more, it might be useful to turn this live update of the view to turn it off. So what you do then, plug in, settings, and go to test list, and you say use deferred scrolling. Press apply. So what it will do now, then hold down Mouse. It won't update the list until I release it. So that's the deferred scrolling, but it's only on uh, slow systems. So that's about the cache list. Oh, I didn't show that the flagged. Um, it's not really property of the cache list, but um, maybe important. And the flag is kind of a bookmark. The, the selection is not saved, not if you use the, the cap data storage. And uh, so if you want to, it's a kind of a bookmark, a, a reminder, uh, you can flag a certain geocache. So if you, if you flag this, it is also stored in the file. Next time you load it, this will still be there and you can say, well, show only the flag. Um, that's the flag. And maybe another one important one is the locked. You can lock certain geocaches. You say, well, I don't want if I do an import, pocket query import or geocache live import of geocaches, I don't want to and override this geocache. Maybe you change the name. So you can edit the geocache. And 
maybe say well I I don't know you you, you can uh, change the multi to I just do a stupid uh, thing with an NSF to a virtual next time when you import the geocase it will refer back to a multi if you don't want it you can say oh I want to lock this press save I want to lock this and then it won't be overwritten anymore I think only the, the, the locks, locks are added so that's about the, the cache list.